Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck for the next week. From Hell's Gate on Earth to a beautiful dive spot that has claimed its fair share of lives, here are 10 of the most dangerous holes on Earth. Number 10. The Gates of Hell In the hot, expansive Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, near the small village of Darvasa, is a hole 230 feet wide that has been on fire for over 40 years. Its official name is the Darvasa Gas Crater, however, locals call it by a more ominous name, the Gates of Hell. Its fiery glow can be seen for miles around. The crater was created in 1971 entirely by accident when a Soviet drilling rig punched into a massive underground natural gas cavern, causing the ground to collapse and the entire drilling rig to fall in. Having punctured a pocket of gas, poisonous fumes began leaking at an alarming rate. To head off a potential environmental catastrophe, the Soviets set the hole on fire, figuring it would stop burning within a few weeks. Decades later and the fiery pit is still going strong, and there's no sign of it slowing down. Number 9. The Devil's Sinkhole A registered national natural landmark since 1985, the Devil's Sinkhole plunges a remarkable 400 feet deep. It is the largest single-chambered cavern and third deepest sinkhole in the U.S. state of Texas. It was created when an underground cavity suddenly collapsed. There is archaeological evidence that the sinkhole was once considered sacred by Native Americans, as locals have found stalactites, arrowheads, and other treasures from the area. Evidence from around the site indicates that the sinkhole may have been used for burial of the dead, as Native Americans considered sinkholes, as well as caves, crevices, springs, and seeps, to be avenues to the underworld and the earth gods. In much later times, the sinkhole was a gathering place for cowboys and cavers who etched their names and other graffiti into the limestone walls. Three people are known to have died by falling into the sinkhole in modern times, with one in 1900, another in 1960, and the most recent in 1972. Today, the sinkhole is a summer home for one to four million Mexican free-tailed bats. At sundown, visitors can see a few bats emerge from the sinkhole, until they become a black swirling mass of millions of bats flying into the evening sky. Number 8. The Kimberly Mine in 1866, Erasmus Jacobs found a tiny white pebble on the Decoque farm on the banks of the Orange River near Hope Town in the former Cape Colony. That pebble turned out to be a 21.25 carat diamond. Thus began the great diamond rush in the area and the advent of the Kimberley Mine. From mid-July 1871 to 1914, up to 50,000 miners dug the hole with picks and shovels, yielding 6,000 pounds or 13,600,000 carats of diamonds. Also known as the Big Hole, it has a surface of 42 acres and is 1,519 feet wide. It was excavated to a depth of 790 feet, but then partially infilled with debris, reducing its depth to about 705 feet. Since then, it has accumulated about 130 feet of water, leaving 574 feet of the hole visible. Today, the Big Hole is part of a larger museum. This is a unique open-air museum with viewing platforms and a wide selection of original houses, offices, and shops. Number 7. The Glory Hole the Glory Hole is located at the Monticello Dam at Lake Berryessa in Northern California. This gigantic hole acts as the lake spillway. Technically known as the Morning Glory Spillway, the Glory Hole is just what the locals like to call it. When the dam reaches capacity, the spillway swallows water at a rate of 48,800 cubic feet per second, emptying about 700 feet away through an enormous concrete pipe. If the drain is operational, the lake suddenly becomes a very dangerous place to swim. In 1997, a UC Davis graduate student was pulled into the glory hole while swimming and drowned. The dam and spillway were both constructed between 1953 and 1957, choking off Putaw Creek and drowning the remains of the town of Monticello. Number 6. Dean's Blue Hole At 663 feet deep, Dean's Blue Hole is one of the deepest underwater sinkholes on Earth. Formed over 15,000 years ago, it's thought to be the result of a sinkhole formed by rainwater soaking through cracks in limestone bedrock when sea levels were lower. The hole is a sight to behold, even above the water, with the deep blue hue of its water in stark contrast to the light blue around it. It's also home to all sorts of marine life, including tropical fish, seahorses, and turtles. It's now the site of the Vertical Blue Freediving Competition, 
considered the Wimbledon of the freediving world. Despite its breathtaking beauty, it has its fair share of tragedy. In 2013, Nicholas Mavoli from Brooklyn died shortly after surfacing from diving into Dean's Blue Hole from a pulmonary edema, excess fluid in the lungs, the first death in an international freediving competition. And in 2017, Irishman Stephen Keenan became the first safety diver to die doing the job. Even casual swimmers are advised to treat the hole with caution. Number 5. Shand Bowery Built between 800 to 900 AD, Shand Bowery is one of the biggest step wells in India. It was originally made to save rainwater from the monsoon season for use at drier times of the year. Legend has it that this massive well was dug in one night, an impossible feat for humans, I know. If you believe the legends, though, the well was actually dug up by ghosts. It's called a step well because of one simple reason, or rather thousands of simple reasons, steps. Three sides of the well have 3,500 steps that drop 100 feet down, while the fourth side houses a temple to the Hindu god Harshat Mata, the goddess of happiness. The place is far from happy though, due to the many deadly accidents that had happened there in the past. Today, people can still go down to the very bottom of the well, but they will need special permission. Number 4. The Dyavik Diamond Mine Accessible only by a local airport and a treacherous ice road, the Dyavik Diamond Mine sits in one of the remotest parts of the Canadian subarctic. Since it opened in 2003, the mine has been producing around 3,100 pounds of diamonds every year at the site, where more than 1,100 people work. If the average diamond ring has one full carat, the mine's output is equivalent to 7,030,682 rings every year. This is also the place where the largest ever yellow diamond in North America was found. The hole reaches a depth of over 600 feet and is located about 190 miles northeast of Yellowknife, the only city in the Northwest Territories. The mine has claimed at least two lives that we know of. In 2001, two workers were killed at the site when a man lift they were on toppled, causing the young men to fall to their deaths. Number 3. The Berkeley Pit the Berkeley Pit is a 1,700-foot-deep abandoned copper mine. It was closed in 1982, but was never filled in, so it has slowly been filling with water ever since, turning it into an artificial lake. But instead of being a new haven for wildlife in the area, it is turned into a death trap. The rocks in the mine contain heavy metals and chemicals like arsenic and sulfuric acid. The site is now a mile-wide pool of highly acidic water. It's basically a 1,700-foot-deep lake filled with poison. In 2016, a large flock of several thousand snow geese landed in the pool pit to avoid a snowstorm. Worried officials tried to scare the birds out of the water and stop more from landing, but eventually, around 4,000 of the geese were killed by being exposed to chemicals in the water. Now it's time for today's best pick. Today's pick is probably the most breathtaking sight you will ever see in your life. However, beneath the calm serenity lies a deadly secret. What place am I talking about? Find out more next. Number 2. The Great Blue Hole 60 miles off the coast of Belize is the Great Blue Hole, one of the largest holes of its kind in the world. It was originally a limestone cave that started to form about 150,000 years ago. Over the centuries, the water level rose and the caves were eventually flooded and its roof collapsed, forming this unique aquatic marvel. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, the hole is a popular scuba diving spot made famous by Jacques Cousteau in the 1970s, who named it one of the best dive spots on the planet. The gigantic pit is almost a thousand feet wide and over 400 feet deep, and is home to reef and bull sharks. A place that wide and that deep sometimes develops its own unique microcurrents within the hole itself, and sometimes these currents can be deadly. Last year, virgin head honcho and multi-billionaire Richard Bronson went with Cousteau's grandson, Fabian, to the bottom of the chasm in a submarine. At the bottom, they found the bodies of two of the three divers who were thought to have gone missing in the hole. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 1. The Blue Hole 
While diving in the blue hole in the Red Sea might not be dangerous in and of itself, this underwater sinkhole has a unique feature which makes it incredibly lethal. 181 feet down into the blue hole, there's a rock tunnel that connects the sinkhole to the sea known as the Arch. It is 85 feet long and is believed to be the reason around 200 people have drowned at the blue hole between 1997 and 2012. A few things make it so deadly, including overconfidence if you can believe it. Some experienced divers attempt to swim through it, thinking it'll be easy because of its deceptive length and current. And because the water is so clear, light at the end of the tunnel makes the arch look a lot shorter than it really is, and a current constantly flows into the blue hole from the sea, slowing progress down. One high-profile death here is that of Yuri Lipsky, who took a video camera with him and inadvertently filmed his own death in 2000. Are you brave enough to venture into any of these deadly holes? Let us know down below in the comments. Make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content, two of which are on your screen right now. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.